Mersey travel oversees transport for the Liverpool city region. Our areas of responsibility range from the operation of the Mersey ferries, six bus stations and two Mersey tunnels to tourist attractions such as the U-Boat Story and we also oversee the rail franchise. Mersey Travel is the strategic transport advisor for the Liverpool City region so we effectively coordinate and work with our district partners to ensure that there's effective transport network. As you'd expect that means that we've got a very diverse workforce so from our strategic advisors to the people who are actually on street advising the travelling public, our call centre so people can phone up. We also own and operate the Mersey tunnels and the Mersey ferries so that means that we've also got a very industrial workforce, engineers, um, people who are providing the maintenance support. We've also got lots of people who are working out and about by themselves. So health and safety is critically important because effectively if our workforce hasn't got that well-being then they can't do the job and they can't serve the travelling public. With around 800 employees and such a broad span of operational functions we have to make sure the health and safety systems in place reflect the risks and hazards that the business encounters. In my role as a health and safety rep, um, my colleagues know that they can raise issues with myself and know that I can then take it to another level. If the issue is not resolved within a couple of days, we can then have the opportunity to take it to the next level, which is the local asset management health and safety meeting. And then, if that is still not further resolved, we also have the opportunity to take it even further to Mersey Travel's own health and safety forum. My role as Vice Chair works well in practice because obviously now um, the, the members know that they've got equal representation so we deal with everything jointly now. Before we put the new structures in place the relationships were so bad between either side um, everything took a lot longer to sort out and deal with. As engagement and communication has steadily improved we have seen a significant reduction in reportable incidents and accidents and we have been awarded the 18001 Occupational Health and Safety Standard Accreditation. On top of that, relationships between management and employees and their representatives has improved all round. One of our greatest successes is the reduction of accidents by 62% which was based on the year 2008 and 2009 just prior to all our safety champions and managers doing the safety function coming into play. Mersey Travel is heavily trade unionised, so about 90% of our workforce are members of the trade union. So we did some workshops involving senior management reps and senior trade union safety reps. Obviously the support of our safety advisor was critical in terms of doing that as well. From that we identified what our priorities were, so it wasn't us telling the unions or the unions telling us, it was lots of joint working and then looking at action plans in terms of taking that forward. To me the safety reps are really important because they are the local champions for safety but they're working with the local managers and the local team leaders. Obviously training and information is absolutely pivotal, communication is key in health and safety and ensuring that people can access the, um, what they need uh, to know so we made the decision that all staff would do uh, an IOSH Working Safely course. Mersey Travel offers in-house the IOSH Working Safely qualification and also for managers the IOSH Managing Safely qualification. We have also provided some employees, including trade union reps, with the National Education Board in Occupational Safety and Health, which is the NEBOS General Certificate, and some employees have actually furthered their education and gone on to do the diploma. Maintaining our operations in adverse weather conditions brings its own health and safety hazards, which our workforce have to be prepared for. Safety management comes in two phrases, the safety management then the successful safety management. Successful safety management is when everybody gets involved and what the leaders of organisations need to do is to try and do what they can, which is so far as reasonably practical, to make sure that everybody who comes to work goes home the same way they came. Due to the working conditions being far improved, uh, knowing the actual procedures that are necessary to, uh, to actually enter these locations makes for a massive change in the, the, how safe you feel within the environment. It works well in practice because now each individual committee has its own action plan um, and each committee deals with issues which are relevant to that particular area such as the Mersey Ferries so rather than being drawn into areas of the organisation that don't concern them they all have their own specific actions and that's what they deal with at each committee. 
What we're trying to do with the Mayor's Travel is very much a one team, one family approach about us working together um, to actually look at what we're trying to do as an organisation and have a culture that supports the delivery of our corporate priorities and we felt that that approach would work well for health and safety.